Hi, Trudy Vermin here, guys. It's almost 11 p.m. I don't have any makeup on. My hair is not done. Forgive me. I just, I just wanted to make this real quick because this was on my heart. You know, I've, I've been there, and I, and I, I know this to be true. But I've come across some people that are around me that are in dire financial straits, but. It, it, they're still in the denial phase. And the thing about this particular phase, it's the phase where they haven't admitted it to themselves that things are as bad as they are, much less to want to admit it to someone else. This is the phase when they're in massive cover up. Okay. So it's like they go shopping anyways, because even if they're, you know, spending the five dollars they shouldn't spend it's just to make them feel like it's not that bad because they had the five dollars and they, they spent it the way they wanted or they uh go to great you know maybe they've lost their job but they get dressed anyways and go out the doors if they're going to work and they haven't told you that they don't have a job a lot of times these people will go to great lengths to cover up how bad things are this these, this is part of the secrets of the financially lost. Now, the thing for me is that there was a time that I was in that phase. Um, the psychologists talk about, you know, when loss happens, there is that denial, anger, acceptance. Um, that, you know, I don't remember all the phases right now this over the night, but denial is definitely one of the first stages. And, and guys, it, you're not gonna get help you're not gonna reach out for help. You're not gonna look for strategies to fix anything until you admit and realize that you are in a situation. Now, I've been there, I've done that. You can go back through the archives of the videos here on debtfreewealthtv.com and see some of my stories. But I was reading a book the other day and it mentioned a little tidbit. It's, it, was a, it just mentioned this fact on the story of the Titanic. Um, you know, there wasn't enough lifeboats on the Titanic. So people who that could manage to get on the life, uh, life rescue boats to get away, there were actually some spaces on some boats, but when the boats went and dropped off the passengers, only one returned and picked up an additional six people. In the end, when the, um, the, the ships came back to pick up the dead three days later, the statistics that I read said there were 300 and 328 men, women, and children that had died in the frigid waters wearing life jackets. Now, here's the thing. The, those who had been rescued, the rescue boats did not come back. And there is a tendency for some that when they've solved their situation, they forget their past. They go along their many way, merry way. They don't even want to think about where they, they that's the last thing I want to do is to revisit that pain. And I know that. I know what that is because I was divorced. I went through it and I used to run a divorce support group and it got hard for me to go back and revisit that pain. But guess what, guys? Having gotten, th when I, you know, I'm not where I want to be because I'm, you know, I'm still carrying the debt of the mortgage. It's the one mortgage uh, that we're really working to pay off, but everything else pretty much is covered. Um, but when I got on the other side of the depression, of the worry, of the, the panic, of the, you know, looking out the window to see if the truck was still there, all those kinds of things. When I got over that, and I, I mean, all that I've been through, all that I've survived, all that I've learned, I really felt like I had to become the debt-free wealth evangelist. I could not not come back with a rescue boat to help. I had to come back with a rescue boat to help. If you need help, please reach out to me. We have Debt Free Wealth Academy here waiting for you. In Debt Free Wealth Academy, we're going to help you delete debt, build wealth, and protect family assets. Now, some of you are at the place where what you need help with is protecting family assets. Some of you are at the place where you need help with building wealth and protecting, but some of you need to start with deleting debt. Okay. I don't know where you are, but if, if that's you, rather than, you know, be part of that secret society where you are pretending like all is well and denying even to yourself that you're in a situation and allowing things to get incrementally worse because you're not addressing the situation. It's late at night. So I'm just, just throwing this out there. I probably am rambling. I'll listen back to this later and see, but guys, I just want to, I just want to let you know, there is hope. It can be done. 
And yes, it doesn't, the situation looks dire right now and you can't really see the way out. And it will be hard, I am not gonna lie to you. It's probably gonna take some behavior changes because whatever you did to get where you are, you may have to do different to get out of it, right? So I'm not gonna say it's easy, but I just wanted to know it's not impossible to change your situation. So get out of that secret society, get out of that shame based situation, no longer be a part of the secrets of the financially lost. Let's just let's just step into the light and let's reach out for hope. Let's reach out for help. And you know, below this video is an area you can leave a comment, ask a question. I hope you do, because I look forward to connecting with you.